Hello friends, let's go over heme synthesis and its breakdown. Uh, heme is synthesized uh, using the amino acid glycine. Okay. It combines with succinyl CoA. Succinyl CoA. And it's going to give us a product called Delta Ella. Okay. This is going to give us a product called Delta Ella in short. So that's the first step. Um, the second step is now the delta ala is going to combine with um, delta. Sorry, it's going to combine with ala dehydratase. It's going to combine with ala dehydratase to form porphobilinogen. to form porphobilinogen. Okay. Now we have our porphobilinogen and this is going to combine with uroporphyrinogen synthase. Okay, uroporphyrinogen synthase 1 to give us uroporphyrinogen 3. Okay, so you must be wondering why there is a 3 here, even though there is a 1. Another compound which I did not purposefully mention was uh, Euro 3 cosynthase. You can remember if you want to. I usually don't bother. It's too much detail to remember on the exam day, but I'm just going to put it out there. So it's Euro 3 cosynthase. Cosynthase. That's also that's that's the three we're going to be seeing in uroporphyrinogen uh, uroporphyrinogen three. Okay. Now we have our uroporphyrinogen three, which is eventually going to give us through a couple of steps porphyrin nine or proto sorry proto porphyrin nine. It's going to give us protoporphyrin 9. Now, from protoporphyrin 9, we're going to get to heme using the enzyme heme synthase. Or it can also be called ferrochelatase. Okay, ferrochelatase. This step also needs iron. Okay, so Fe2 plus. And this is going to give us him. Okay, so these are the, the four steps of getting to him. Let's quickly go over it one more time. So we're going to start off with glycine, combining with succinyl CoA giving us delta ala and the enzyme that we're using here is did I ever mention the enzyme I don't know if I did so I'm just gonna say it again the enzyme we're gonna be using here is ala syn synthase okay quite simple ala synthase okay, that's gonna give us delta ala oops okay so the next step we have delta ala uh, now, delta ala is going to combine with ala dehydratase, giving us our first heme looking compound called porphobilinogen. Porphobilinogen then combines with uroporphyrinogen synthase 1 plus uro uh, 3 cosynthase to give us uroporphyrinogen 3. Uroporphyrinogen 3 is then going to give us porphobilinogen. Protoporphyrin 9, right here, protoporphyrin 9. And there could be more than one step right here, not that specific. And then uh, porphyr protoporphyrinogen 9 combines with heme synthase, or another name for it is ferrochelatase, and iron um, to give heme. Okay, so that's the that's the 
Heme synthesis, uh, of clinical relevance is a lot of the times they ask about ferroquilates in lead poisoning, that step is um, inhibited. Also, delta ala, delta ala. Sorry, I quickly had to check uh, that um, that information. I was in, I was in. 100% sure if I was giving the right information. So yeah, lead poisoning is going to inhibit uh, ferroquilates and delta ala dehydratase. So this step and also this step in lead poisoning. Okay, so um, that's synthesis. Let's talk about breakdown now. Anything that's formed has to break down. Um, I remember reading somewhere also, um, please do check on this if I'm wrong, that heme synthesis is, is a catabolic and anabolic uh, mechanism of action. I'm not sure about it at this point, but um, that's what I vaguely remember. So. Um, yeah, so that's something I just wanted to put it out there. Now uh, we're going to talk about heme breakdown. Okay, so heme breakdown happens uh, in three steps. Uh, first of all, uh, the first enzyme we're going to use is heme oxygenase. Obviously, it's going to use oxygen along with NADPH to give us biliverdin. Okay, biliverdin. Okay, that's our first step. Now our biliverdin is going to be converted by biliverdin reductase. Okay, biliverdin reductase um, and NADPH to give us bilirubin. Okay, bilirubin. Now, bilirubin is now combining with UDP glucoronate. To give us bilirubin diglucoronate, and I think I missed an enzyme here. I think the enzyme is UDP glucoronyl transferase. Transferase to give us UDP glucoronate okay so let's go over it one more time the first step is going to be heme is going to be oxygenized so we're going to use the enzyme heme oxygenate plus oxygen plus NADPH to give us biliverdin biliverdin is going to combine with bilirubin uh, sorry biliverdin is going to combine with uh, biliverdin reductase uh, plus NADPH to give us bili Rubin, now, bilirubin plus UDP glucuronyl plus um, glucuronyl plus UDP glucuronyl transferase is going to give us UDP glucuronide. UDP glucuronide. Now, um, I just wanted to put it out there that UDP. When do we use UDP? Do you know? When do we use UDP and when do we use dolichol? What's the difference between the two? UDP is for single sugar when they're transferring single sugar, where dolichol is for a chain of carbohydrates. So that's a difference. Uh, I think it's a very important difference to know. Always comes in general principles section of the exam. Okay, that's about it, and I'll see you on my next video. Bye for now.